And we are keeping our eye on Intel here on Wake Up CBUS. We've learned in anticipation of Intel's arrival, the Ohio State University is now training the future workforce. Maybe your children, who will produce these semiconductor chips, will be educated there. Ted TV reporter Kevin Landers is now live with some of the lesson plans that some of these future students might be learning. Kevin. Well, good morning. Intel has reported that starting salaries will begin about $135,000 a year, and Ohio State says it will have students ready when that plan opens in late 2025. Now, Intel's $20 billion investment to build two fabs is the single largest development in Ohio history. Alone, along for the 7,000 construction jobs it's creating, it will also need 3,000 employees with the goal to hire as many Ohioans as it can. Ohio State is playing a leading role getting those workers trained by flying students and faculty to Intel sites across the country, country to see how work is done there. Intel says it will need 10,000 to 20,000 students nationwide to work at all of its plants. Ohio State says it's already working with other states to train as many workers as they can. We've worked with partners in five states around the Midwest to build what we call the Midwest Semiconductor Network. This is 31 institutions of higher education, so universities, community colleges, technical schools, to be able to do this at scale. In the 18 months since this was announced, we've created seven new certificate programs at Ohio State to train students in semiconductor research. In addition, a new minor from our College of Engineering. So. We're hand in glove working with them directly and, and um, want to be ready for this. Now, OSU says growing the workforce doesn't mean just when kids leave Ohio State. They're also encouraging young kids to get involved in STEM education so they'll have a place at Intel in the future as well. Reporting live on the campus of Ohio State, Kevin Landers, 10TV News.